I'm Elisa Dallas and I'm the author of the League of Llamas series. I would like to say a big happy 80th birthday to Puffin. What an amazing milestone. Congratulations. Hi, I'm Aura Parker. I'm the author and illustrator of Meerkat Splash and Goodnight Glowworms. Hi there, my name is Mark Greenwood and I'm the author of the History Mystery series, Lassiter's Gold. Diamond Jack, The Lost Explorer, and The Last Tiger. I'm also the author of Moonwalkers, illustrated by my mate, Terry Denton. Hello, I'm R.A. Spratt, author of The Pesky Kids, Friday Barnes, and The Nanny Piggins series. Hi, I'm Stephen Michael King. I'm the illustrator for the Atticus Fantastica series. Um, working on a book, Bear and Rat. My name is Heath McKenzie, and I am the illustrator of the fabulous Puffin book, A Banana is a Banana, by Justin Clark and Josh Pike. And I'm also here to celebrate 80 years of Puffin by answering 80, by answering four questions. <laughs> what noise does a Puffin make? Puff. In. Puff. In. Uh, uh, uh. That's a pig grunt. It's like a pig grunt. Uh, uh, uh. Again, no, I'm not going to make that noise. Squawk, squawk, <laughs> squawk. I feel it would be some sort of, uh, uh, uh. sort of a thing. Puff in, puff out. <laughs> what was your favourite book as a kid? The Old Man and the Sea. It was a fantastic story. It was illustrated every chapter. The Magic Faraway Tree, I loved that when I was a kid. And I loved um, The Wishing Chair. Richard Scary, uh, I loved all that busy, busy world. The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe by C.S. Lewis. That's um, the story where the children find the magical land of Narnia. Anything funny, I loved. Um, Robin Klein, Hayden Ellison, Ashley, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Bodysnarks and Gumbles, which I loved very much, which was an Australian classic I had forgotten about until only recently. Which children's book character are you most like? I am most like a very hungry caterpillar because I am often very hungry every day, just like the caterpillar, and I often eat too much. Probably like the ones I write, Nanny Piggins. I mean, Nanny Piggins is basically me if I got to say the things I really wanted to say. I guess I'm a history hunter and in some ways I'm an explorer, so perhaps I'm a Harold Lassiter. All the characters in my book are the me that I'd like to be. Joe from Little Women or um, Alice in Wonderland. Sleeping Beauty or maybe Cinderella after she meets Prince Charming. Tell us the funniest or weirdest thing about me. I can make myself disappear. Three, two, one. <laughs> I'm afraid of whales. Yes, not the country or the people, but the animal in the sea. They freak me out. Uh, I've got hearing loss, so I didn't even hear that question. I am actually very allergic to bees. And as a child, I would get stung a lot because I grew up in the country and, you know, there were lots of flowers, lots of trees and lots of bees. I can't go anywhere without carrying a meteorite in my pocket. In fact, I think I've probably got a meteorite in my pocket right now. This one here is from the asteroid belt between Jupiter and Mars. Congratulations, Puffin. Thank you for letting me be a very, very tiny part of that 80 years with these bananas. Um, both the book and Josh and Justine. Happy 80th birthday, Puffin. I'd like to wish Puffin and all the great folks there who make these incredible books, who look after the authors and illustrators to make sure that we make the best possible books for your curious minds. I'd like to say everyone a huge thank you and send my incredible well wishes to all the fantastic folks at Puffin Books. 80 years, an amazing achievement, and here's to another 80. Thank you Puffin to, for sending those questions and for making so many beautiful books over the years. Happy 80th birthday, bye for now. Happy birthday Puffin. Uh, I got a poster of you when you were 75 on my studio wall, but you're 80, it's pretty good. Um, so congrats. Happy birthday Puffin. Crikey. 
I feel it would be some sort of, sort of a thing, but I could be wrong.